Hey, 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 Divas, you're listening to our daily devotion for the High Stepping for Health and Self-Love Sisterhood Challenge for the Divas of Fit, Fine, and Fabulous. And I am your host, Nicole Coach Twy Twyman, and I'll be sharing 10 to 15 minute devotions every day during the month of September. Our goal is to motivate black and brown women to move their bodies and practice self-love all month long. So let's get started, sis. Happy Transformation Tuesday to all of our Fifth Founding Fabulous Divas listening to this call. Those of you who are high-stepping for health and self-love with us on today and all month long. This day, today, Transformation Tuesday, is all about embracing change and renewing your mind. Because as we know, our thoughts have immense power to shape our journeys. You know, transformation begins in your mind. It's where you set your intentions. It's where you envision your goals. And of course, it's where you cultivate the willpower to take daily steps towards your health and your self-love goals. Today, let's talk specifically about the importance of renewing your mind for lasting change, for lifelong uh, change. But before we get into today's verse of the day, let's recite today's affirmation together, okay? I am not waiting any longer. I am becoming the healthiest and happiest version of myself right now. I am transforming daily. Yes, I love it, love it, love it. Today's verse of the day is Isaiah 43, verse 19. New King James Version reads, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Love it, love it, love it. But you know, I also love the message translation. So let's read that of Isaiah 43, 19. It says, be alert, be present. I'm about to do something brand new. It's bursting out. Don't you see it? There it is. I'm making a roll through the desert, rivers in the badlands. I love it. That's that's bold. <laughs> a bold uh, assertment that we all should be making about our lives. I love, be alert, be present. I'm about to do something brand new. That's the energy and feeling that we have to have when we feel like we're stuck and we just can't get past it. We have to be alert and be present and just just shout out. I'm about to do something brand new, even if you're just talking to yourself, right? And it, and the verse says, it's bursting out. Don't you see it? Even if you have to assert that to yourself. Do that, sis. Do that. Um, Take a moment. Take a moment. Take a moment right now, actually, to reflect on the power of your thoughts. We talk about this often. But are your thoughts aligned with your goals and your aspirations today? Are there negative or self-limiting beliefs that need to be replaced with positivity and self-compassion? One of the main ways we can break up those old limiting patterns in our brains is by reciting affirmations. This is exactly why we are reciting affirmations every day this month. Affirmations that resonate with your goals and the transformation that you seek. Like today's, I'm not waiting any longer. I'm becoming the healthiest and happiest version of myself right now. I'm transforming daily. That's today's affirmation. And we should feel that. We should affirm that. If you affirm that with me as you are walking today, say, I affirm it. I affirm it. Okay. Another way to rewire your brain and transform your life is by creating a vision board. We all are always talking about vision boards, right? But vision boards visually represent your goals, right? So you should include images and words that inspire and remind you of where you're trying to go. 
We need to see our goals before us daily. So if you've done a vision board and you don't have it on the wall, you don't have the screenshot on your phone, what's the purpose? The purpose of the vision board is so that your vision is before you on the daily so that you could see where you're, so you are reminded of your goals every day, right? Reminded to take daily action to make these goals a reality. We're not just doing this just to do it. We're trying to make our goals a reality. Yet another way to transform is to simply relax. Taking the time to care for yourself as it relates to giving yourself peace when there may be no peace around you. One of the ways to accomplish this is by practicing mindful breathing to calm your mind and to stay more present. We're not focused on the past, but we're focused on the here and now. Stay present, sis. Even right now, we could take a deep breath as we walk, right? We can inhale positivity, hold it in to a count of three. One, two, three, and then we can exhale negativity. We blow it out for a count of three. One, two, three. So let's try that again. We're going to inhale positivity. Hold it for three. Exhale negativity for three. Because, you know, when you are frantic and not organized, it's hard to transform. Since you have to make the space for mindfulness. Make the space for mindfulness today. The change is going to come, but only if you don't quit. Nothing can change if you throw in the towel. Let's receive our affirmation one more again before we end today's um, devotion. I am not waiting any longer. I am becoming the healthiest and happiest version of myself right now. I am transforming daily. Pray with me today. Heavenly Father, we come before you with gratitude in our hearts for the opportunity to embark on this journey of transformation. Guide us in renewing our minds. Your word in Ephesians 4, 22 through 24 reminds us of the importance of putting off our old self. Those patterns of old behavior, those patterns of old thoughts that no longer serve us. Today, we ask for your guidance and your strength to help us in this process, O Lord. As we reflect on our lives and the habits we wish to shed, grant us the clarity to identify the hindrances to our health and to our self-love efforts. Give us the wisdom to recognize those deceitful lusts and patterns that has held us back and give us the courage to release them. We pray for the renewal of our minds, oh Father. Help us to cleanse our thoughts of malice, of pretense, of envy, and of hurtful talk to others and mostly to ourselves. Instead, may our minds be filled with your pure kindness, with your pure love, with your pure compassion. Let your spirit transform our thought patterns, O God. Align them with your purpose for our lives. In this moment, Lord, we imagine the new selves you've created us to be. Healthier, more loving, and fully aligned with your divine plan. We ask for the strength to embrace this vision and to walk confidently in the path of true righteousness and holiness. May our thoughts forever align with the transformation we desire. And may our journey be filled with positivity and purpose. And it says, his name, all the divas say, amen. Sis, Transformation Tuesday is a reminder that you have the power to shape your journey. By renewing your mind, you pave the way for lasting change and growth. Embrace this day as an opportunity to align your thoughts with your aspirations. Today, when you post your selfie in the group, 
share your thoughts on how you renew your mind for transformation. I shared a few today, but how do you do it? Share in the group. Let's inspire one another as we continue our journeys of high stepping for health and self-love and wellness in this challenge. Until tomorrow, my sweet sisters, have a fit, fine, and fabulous day. Hey guys, thanks for listening to our fit, fine, and fabulous devotion today. We're so glad that you're here with us. If you've completed all of your steps for the day, make sure you post your selfie in our Fit, Fine, and Fabulous Facebook group and mark this lesson complete in our app. If you're not a part of this challenge but want free motivation, just join us in our Facebook group. It's Fit, Fine, and Fabulous. That's Fit, Fine with a Y, F-Y-N-E, Fabulous. Or follow us on Instagram, at fit underscore fine underscore fab. Can't wait to connect with you.